How the hell there, neighborinos, and welcome to another episode of VR News Today! Okay, so first things first, is PlayStation VR keeping the PS4 on life support? Well, as I'm sure a few of you have by now seen, the state of play that was released a couple weeks ago, basically their news in place of E3 that they will likely be releasing once every quarter, so we, we could probably expect one on YouTube here in like June or so. I don't know, like right around the time of E3. But right around that, during this last State of Play video, there were quite a few VR titles. A couple notable ones, of course, were Iron Man VR, Concrete Genie and Five Nights at Freddy's. Help wanted. Obviously, there were some other games too, like of course Mortal Kombat and Days Gone. But for the most part, like half the video, well, I, I guess it makes sense when you think about it more, but half the video was dedicated to what would technically be considered a niche category. PlayStation VR, which only has sold about 4.2 million units so far as compared to the 500 million that they celebrated on the 500 million base consoles that they've been prancing around and talking about. That is only an, an insertion rate of what, 1%? And, and not even 1% when... You... So, spending half the video on a addressing the needs of 1% of your market base doesn't really seem like great marketing. Kind of seems like they're trying to plug things in and try to push the PlayStation VR so that it can keep the system alive with with arguably good titles like like of course Iron Man which may very well be a well honestly it'll be it'll be my favorite over Batman I'm, I'm just saying that right now it'll be I will prefer Iron Man VR over Batman Arkham VR or what, whatever the Batman one is called. But spending that much time on half or spending that high of a percentage on 1% of your audience doesn't seem like great strategy unless you're dealing with the idea of just keeping the PS4 going in the short term until the PlayStation 5 launches. Speaking of which, um, GameStop CFO has released, uh, they actually were talking about their earnings call and on that call they talked about not only how they lost over $600 million last year, fiscal year 2018, but they also talked about why. Namely, it, well, yeah, they, they talked about how declining sales in used games and game purchases are likely directly connected to people hanging back and just keeping an eye out for the upcoming consoles, namely the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox X, codenamed Anaconda, and the other called Hawkeye. Now, the Anaconda is, is the, well, essentially the sequel to the Xbox One X, where that one is going to actually have the that one's gonna have the optical drive, which is gonna read all of your all of your discs. 
that one already has rumored stats, rumored, mind you, of having uh, 12 teraflops of processing power for your GPU. And as I'm sure a couple of you have already heard, I, I can't, I'm not sure if you remember or not, but the Xbox One X, when it debuted, that one only had six. So obviously they've been working hard at making sure, well, assuming the rumors are true, of course, they've been working hard to make sure that their newest system is going to match all the specs necessary to give a, a solid picture and performance so everybody leaves satisfied and likely try to convert a couple PlayStation users over to Xbox in, during the generation jump. Uh, the other one, the Hawkeye, is supposed to be the streaming one. No optical drive at all. But as a result, it is likely to be smaller, too, because it's extremely... Well, you, you have to fit all that stuff around the drive. So, of course, it's going to be smaller. Uh, I wish I could show you a, a picture of my... Steam box, Steam machine, alpha box, whatever. That that thing is, it's ridiculously small. No optical drive in it whatsoever, and the processor is embedded into the motherboard. So there, you have very few changeable pieces or interchangeable pieces. So the thing is. If I had to take a guess, it's like seven inches per seven inches on the longest side. Yeah, seven or six. It's it's not very big at all. It, it's like six or seven inches by six or seven inches by one and a half. That thing is extremely small so when you also consider that the the xbox and the xbox hawkeye is going to be in that same category missing an optical drive you can you can bet anything that it's going to be near those same dimensions it, it's going to have less than a cubic foot of space which is going to be amazing for those of you who do not have the time or space to to guarantee for things like that. And the rumored price for that is sitting at 249. But of course that's just a rumor. So I think that's a good place to end the video. If you guys liked it, let me know. If you hate it, let me know. And as always, don't forget to Tell me how much you hate me for giving you all this news. Ta-ta for now.